Hey, welcome to the show. My name is Kivan Davani. Happy New Year 2021. And yeah, it already started a very exciting year. The Bitcoin price is around 28,000. 400 euro and um, the dollar probably uh, in dollar terms it's around 34 35 thousand dollars so since i'm in the eurozone in austria and european union i'm going to give you just the euro denominated all-time high and that around yeah oh yeah it's already but it's already 20 28,900. so actually no actually it's 28 it's almost 29,000. Euro. So today is January 6, 2021. Our baby girl is going to be born at any time soon, overdue. Uh, we're just waiting very eagerly. So something, you know, some kind of signals. But anyway, I don't want to, you know, bore you with uh, our <laughs> very exciting, but, you know, private stuff. Um, so I hope you have already if you haven't yet please get yourself a hardware wallet um just buy yourself a very very little amount of bitcoin just get some skin in the game get some reaction going and then you know the the, the incentives uh, going to align and then you will follow deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole and uh, get yourself a mobile wallet maybe first very small amounts go on a you know as usual you know on a kyc exchange with it the kraken i definitely you know can recommend this because of the service because of the customer service, because of the lowest transaction fees and they're very reliable credible security wise also very credible they're going kraken and once you're more and more experienced, once you have, you know, your mobile wallet, your hard wallet, your full node, and then eventually, you know, you will go to decentralized platforms such as this, uh, where you can uh, buy or whatever, even sell Bitcoin peer-to-peer, um, -peer, you know, between you and an individual peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, seller or buyer, but without KYC, at least not the, you know, the stringent KYC as you know it, but you can do it, you know, via bank transfers, SEPA, SEPA transfer, uh, ACH, whatever. I mean, Zella, all kinds of payment transactional methods, which I'm not even familiar with most of them. So, but you can do it in a very, uh, in a totally, you know, decentralized fashion uh, without any KYC. And the only disadvantage might be that you might have to pay sort of a, above the spot price, a premium price. That's a trade-off you sort of accept for, you know, for uh, not, you know, giving away your privacy. And uh, it's definitely secure. It's more private. So anyway, uh, get yourself a Cobo Vault or uh, that's air gapped or, uh, you know, totally paranoid, super secure, cold called wireless, uh, which I can only recommend because you don't have to plug it in. You just do it. You know, you can uh, sign your transactions uh, via micro SD card, but you can, if you want to plug it via USB. And the very classical one is, of course, the Trezor, uh, uh, with it the Trezor 1 or Trezor Model T, uh, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with. But these are the, one, the very classical hardware wallets, which you can plug in via USB. And as, as long as you are, you know, confirming and uh, validating and, you know, triple checking everything on the display itself of your hardware wallet, even though it is connected, of course, by USB, you, sh you are all okay. You really should be okay. Uh, Would it be transaction ID, transaction address, the fees, you know, the, the amount. So, you know, so the, the, the browser, you know, the, the keyboard, the computer itself, the, your laptop is the sort of the, the, uh, the, the vulnerable uh, piece of the puzzle, which might be, you know, security wise could be potentially hijacked or attacked or whatever, or taken over, but that's always the risk, right? And of course, not, uh, not, not to least, not the least to mention is the Bitbox Zero to Bitcoin only edition. They've also by now have the backup cards, which you can buy additionally, but they can only, uh, you know, recommend you the Bit Bitbox Zero to uh, edition. Bitcoin only edition. It's very haptic. You know, you can uh, really easily, easily uh, usable, and uh, they've got all kinds of other. You know, it also works, of course, with the USB C extension cable, and you also get the. Uh, you can also buy the USB C to USB A adapter, so you can plug it in in your laptop, but also into your. Uh, smartphone or android what have what have you right and you can even you know connect it via tor or 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 bot or what have you so it's really uh, a very super secure um 
as far as I can, you know, as far as I talk to other experts, it's one of the really most secure hardware wallets. Uh, but if you really want to go super air gap, uh, cold called war wallet and cold Vault is the way to go. Okay. So, um, what else do I have to tell you? A little bit of updates on January 3rd, uh, 2021. Uh, we celebrated the 12th birthday of Bitcoin. And also at the pretty, pretty much around the same time, we celebrated in a negative way the 50 year anniversary of fiat currency or, you know, the pure fiat currency, you know, especially since 1971, Nixon shock where Nixon decoupled totally, you know, the dollar from the gold and, um, and sort of suspended the readability of dollar into gold. And um, by the way, uh, since it's already popped up on my, uh, and already retweeted it and, and, and posted it on LinkedIn and everywhere else, there's a fantastic interview with Jack Mullers uh, on the Press and Fish show, Investors podcast, whatever it's called. And, um, there he uh it's a really great episode it's fascinating and and where jack mullers you know the creator of strike and zap uh, lays out you know the whole architecture the, the huge monetary evolution on the lightning network the frictionless monetary you know transaction layer um a remittance layer without any cost so it's really super disruptive to the whole system just check it out for yourself it's on Preston Fish uh, channel or the investors podcast. Uh, uh, yeah. And it's called Bitcoin Disrupting Payment Clearing Houses with Jack Mowers. I also tweeted it on, on Twitter and posted it on LinkedIn and on Telegram if you want to follow me. And there was, um, uh, that just came out recently, the uh, from from Mike's strategy, the don't reach uh, shareholder uh, letter to their shareholders. And it's pretty, pretty long, extensive, but super articulated, super touching, very eloquent, very, you know, uh, highly empathetical, you know, way of, of writing this text. Uh, so one of the, uh, one of the paragraphs, one of the, you know, uh, just, just, just a short uh, snippet out of it, American sound money. Our country is blessed with limitless natural resources, giant oceans protecting us on the left and right and friendly neighbors on, to the north and south. We've got a military that any other country would trade for theirs, a political class constrained by an ingenious system of checks and balances, and a built-in self-correcting mechanism of free elections. Almost 250 years later, it's easy to forget how uniquely successful the American experiment has been. Well, could be controversial, <laughs> this statement, but anyways, I'm gonna just uh, uh, continue. Unsound money just isn't us. And hyperinflation is something only other people sometimes have, right? Indeed, outside of our incredible country, the world had experienced an astonishing 56 hyperinflations in the last 100 years. This means that in some country, somewhere, over there, every other year, an innocent population lost their life savings and certainly their dignity simply because they stored it in the wrong vessel. What will continue to make the U.S. different? What will keep our money secure? Our departure from the gold standard is a recent phenomenon and the unprecedented money printing by developed nations even more so. Let's explore together whether the soundness of our money or lack thereof is one of those most obvious, most important realities, hardest to see, hidden in plain sight all around us. So listen, just read it for yourself. It's on uh, it's on Twitter, LinkedIn, it's on microstrategy.com. This uh, uh, Stone Ridge 2020 shareholder letter, it's really touching. I find it highly empathetic. What I also find uh, really astonishing is the, is the business philosophy, the company philosophy and the ethical and pathetical approach to their employees, right? To all the employees, right? Uh, their generosity, their, their anti-fragility, their humility, their trust they put into their employees. So this is what really touched me. I guess, you know, most Bitcoins, they just tweeted it out and, you know, they're super excited about this because, you know, they really understand, of course, you know, they truly, uh, not only Michael Saylor, but I guess now the whole boardroom, they understand the true potential, the true essence, the true seed, the true monetary evolution, uh, 
everything that, that, that is you know, connected to Bitcoin, uh, the fundamental monetary properties and you know, the, the humility that they come with, of course, uh, learning about Bitcoin, the bigger picture around, within and, and surrounding Bitcoin. So it's a truly you know, highly, not only uh, you know, educational, but highly uh, philosophical and, and, and practical and very empathetical written uh, uh, shareholder, uh, Stone Rich 2020 shareholder letter on their website, microstrategy.com. As you know, microstrategy under the you know, leadership of, of um, Michael Saylor, who has uh, you know, uh, the dominating votes and the controlling rights, sort of more or less, you know, I think 77% belongs to him or something like that. Anyway, so he's in charge, let's just say. And he bought, I think by now, uh, more than $1.3 billion of Bitcoin, which have converted now because of the price appreciation to more than two or two point something, 2.1, 2.3 billion dollars. So yeah, and now every other company, boardroom, uh, enterprise, um, family offices, and now sure, you know, other institutions, I'm sure family offices are going to uh, follow up very soon. Maybe they've already actually started. Even Elon Musk, you know, he's, I think, a secret correspondence or, you know, un undisclosed correspondence communication with Michael Saylor. And who knows? I, I'm pretty sure that my, uh, Elon Musk of Tesla uh, has already started accumulating Bitcoin, you know, with, with small orders. And maybe that could be one, one, I was just, just saying one of the many reasons uh, because, you know, the demand is rising and the scarcity is, is rising and, um, and more and more, you know, Bitcoins even, you know, are, are, are withdrawn from exchanges, not only by individuals and ultra net worth individuals and blah, blah, but also by institutions, enterprises, they're withdrawing. So, so 70, 80% of all the Bitcoins out there are, you know, from hodlers. And so, you know, you, you, you literally can feel the scarcity. Uh, uh, rising, rising, and rising. So please read the read it, read it for yourself. Read it once, twice. It's really worth reading. Very educational, very inspirational, very you know uh, what do you say? Uh, a lot of perspectives and visionary, and uh, truly deep down the rabbit hole, uh, as you can see. And uh, I think it was it, yeah, it was uh, written by L Ross L. Stevens, founder and CEO of uh, Stone. Rich, um, I guess, also microstrategy. All right, so um, that's pretty much about it. I don't want to, you know, extend uh, too much this this short um, uh, video clip or episode or whatever you will call it recapitulation. Uh, and I can only urge you, please follow me, uh, follow me, follow me, follow me, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, to my podcast platforms on Anchor.fm slash Kevin Navani. All the show notes or on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Navani. Please give me a follow, a like, a retweet, a share. It, you know, boosts the algorithm so I can, you know, be, be shared, be seen, be heard by other people who are looking out for these kind of educational materials or the interviews I'm doing with highly prolific, you know, educators, uh, technologists, economists, uh, any other experts uh, you can think of. So if you have any wishes, any desires uh, or, or, you know, if you if you think anybody you know is worth uh, being interviewed and uh, I can you know just tweet it out or send me a DM or whatever. Uh, so thank you so much again for your support, for listening, support all the Bitcoiners out there, the podcasters, the multiplicators, the educators, the you know the Austrian economists uh, who are totally like Sofia Namus of course, but also many others, Gigi and uh, yeah Robert Breedlove. Follow him on What Is Money on his YouTube channel. It's such a fascinating, uh, you know, series he's been doing and uh, with also with Michael Saylor and others. There's so many other, you know, really excellent people out there, whether it be Alex Svetsky or, you know, Daniel Prince, one of the really good podcasters out there. And really Ben Kaufman, one of the, you know, uh, really uh, the leading developer or programmer of uh, Spectre Desktop. It's, it's been, I think, celebrated as one of the one of the best, if not the best, software application out there, where you can, you know, just create, just connect it with your Bitcoin Core or your MyNode or any or your full node or what have you, and just, you know, create single uh, single wallet with your hardware wallet or uh, or two out of three or three out of five multi-signature wallet. So it's really user-friendly. 
just be careful. Don't just start off with a multi-signature wallet in case you want to, you know, really tap. Just start off with a single wallet, would it be, you know, Trezor or Bitbox or what have you, or Cocal wallet or Kobo. Uh, and then once you're more experienced, once you know what you're doing, once you've tested it, once you have all the backups and tested and everything, then you can go, you know, into multi-signature and, uh, you know, uh, uh, increase your security your plausible deniability and uh, your multiple jurisdiction keys um, wallet. So there's a bunch of other people out there uh, who would love to give a shout out to uh, Parker Lewis, of course, and so many other you know developers, programmers, coders. So thank you so much again to all of you. But again, I'm trying really hard for more than two or actually three years to you know bring out this education please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please uh, follow me on Twitter. Give it a like, give it a retweet, give it, give it a share. And so I can, you know, move forward and uh, also do this more, ex you know, uh, so I can focus and concentrate more on this work. And because uh, this is, uh, you know, actually, uh, this is the work I, I really uh, doing it out of my heart, of my passion and of my soul. So education and empowerment, and, and, and it's all about Bitcoin. At the end of the day, it's about you know, the seed of the essence of Bitcoin that will transform our world, our civilization into a deflationary economies, into uh, you know, a totally monetary, economical, financial, social, structural, scientific, technological, and even spiritual, and especially structural, transformational evolution. So thanks so much again, and I'll see you.